our lesson for today we are going to look at chemistry 1501 we are still busy with assignment number two this is part four whereby we'll be looking at question 17 to 21 lesson number four let us start question 17 says which is a property of a reaction that has reached equilibrium so we know that When we talk about a reaction that has reached equilibrium, we are talking about the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of reverse reaction. And then we normally use the symbol to indicate that the reaction has reached its equilibrium so looking at the first option it says the amount of product is greater than the amount of reactants it cannot be this one the amount of products is equal to the amount of reactants it can also not be this one the rate of the forward reaction is greater than the rate of reverse reaction it cannot be this one the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction this is the correct option so for option actually for question 17 is option uh, 4 we go to the next question which is question 18 consider the reaction 3 and O gas it yields N to O gas plus N O2 gas then the question says what is the expression for kc for this reaction now we know that the equation to calculate kc is equals to the concentration of the products all over the concentration of the reactants and you should know that the products and the reactants must be in gas phase so any other phase do not take part in the KC expression. Now looking at this, we can see that our product is N2O and NO2. Then you should know that our coefficients, our molar ratio will be our exponents. So it will be KC is equal to the concentration of NO2 actually N2O multiplied by the concentration of NO2 then looking at our reactant we can see that the, mo uh, the molar ratio is 3 so we are going to have NO to the power 3 now for this one since we have 1 and 1 you should know that the exponent is 1. So this is the correct uh, KC expression for this chemical reaction. Now looking at our options, we can see that the first one is indeed the correct option. Because looking at number 2, we can see that there is no exponent on the denominator. Looking at option number 3, we can see that the molar ratio is actually multiplied by the concentration, which is not correct. Then looking at uh, option number four, we can see that the reactant was not considered, so this is also wrong. And then it cannot be none of the above. One of the options is correct, which is option one. We are on question number 19. Consider the reaction hydrofluoric acid it yields hydrogen ion and fluorine ion in aqua solution the question says if the value of the equilibrium constant is very large which species will predominate at equilibrium so we said our equation is kc is equals to concentration of product over concentration of reactants in order for this value to actually be large 
we know that we must have a big number divided by a small number. But if it happens that the KC becomes very small, you should know that we actually took a very small or a small number divided by a big number. So in this case, we can look at the chemical reaction. In order for this to be very large, our product must be big and then our reactants must be small. So the ones which are big are the ones which will predominate at equilibrium. So we look at the products, the two must predominate since they are the products, so option four is the one. Because we cannot just say a hydrogen ion, because hydrogen ion is, okay, we can see that hydrogen ion is one of the products, but also the fluorine is also one of the products. So you increase one of them, will actually increase the Kc, or we can increase both of them to get our Kc. So the best option is option 4. Our question 20. Consider the reaction. NiCO4 gas. It yields Ni solid plus 4CO gas. What is the expression for Kc for this reaction? Now we said Kc is equals to products divided by reactants. Remember I said the condition, they must be in gas phase. In this case, we can see that our reactant will take part in the Kc expression. Our products, one of the products will not take part because this is in solid phase then we can see that this one will also take part in the Kc expression. So only this one will not take part in the Kc expression. Then we can see the molar ratio, we have 1 and 4. So we expect to see exponent 4. So Kc is equal to, we take this one which is in gas phase, Co, and then to the power 4, divide by N I C O four. This is to the power one. So looking at our options, you can see the first one uh, N I is considered and it's in solid phase, it's not correct. We can see this one also N I it's also called considered it's not correct looking at this one we look our product it's co4 which is this divided by nico4 which is also this so this might be the possible solution then looking at this one we can see that the reactant was not being considered it's actually wrong None of the above, no, because one of the option seems to be correct. So option three is our correct answer. Looking at question in one, which of the following will not affect the position of a chemical equilibrium? You should know that the factors that affect the chemical equilibrium are actually three. It's the temperature. Uh, pressure and concentration. Then you should know that pressure can be varied using volume. Note that when we increase volume, we are decreasing pressure. When we decrease volume, we are increasing pressure. So volume and pressure, we can say it's only the same thing. But you should know that these are three factors that affect equilibrium. Any other factors will not affect the chemical equilibrium. So the question says, which of the following will not affect the position of the chemical equilibrium? 
changing temperature will affect the position of the chemical equilibrium. Adding catalyst will not. So this is a possible option. Changing volume will affect. Changing concentration will affect and changing pressure. This and this is actually on the same thing. So the best option is option two. Now that's it for this part. Stay tuned for the next part whereby we'll be looking at question 22 to question 26. This is Wahura SJ. Thank you very much.